Yeah, we're going to haul this rock up to the pond. Stick with me. Bringing up a rock is not difficult. You just have to be mindful of a few things. Like uh, the sharp edges. Sharp edge around the corner there, and you can see there's one here. We have to make sure that our chain is tight enough around the bottom of that so that when it lifts up, the chain is going to want to tighten up and it's going to grip around that outcropping. Then it's not going to slip off. I'm doing a basket hitch. The basket hitch, quite simply, is I'm going to use both ends of the chain to make a basket and pick up the rock with it. So here, I'm going to get a little bit underneath that. And when I pull it around here, this is the loop I have left over. Now this loop, I'm going to put my hook in that. And when I lift it up, the chain's going to want to tighten. As the chain tightens, it's going to grab the rock. Then we'll be able to lift it up. This rock is considerably heavier than the crane will carry um, at that extension. I'm gauging that it's almost a two-ton rock. And to lift a two-ton rock, I should be setting my my arm to this setting. But I've got it set at half a ton because I gotta stretch it out there. This is gonna be our spill rock. What I mean by that is that this is gonna go underneath the weir. So that when the water runs over the lip of the weir, it's gonna hit this rock and cascade across it and over it, making a 40-inch wide waterfall. In my head, it's gonna be impressive. So I'm reducing the arm length, trying to get myself some more leverage. <laughs> Hopefully that will be enough to get at least airborne. Okay, see if we can push it in a bit more. Like that. And now you see, I should be able to extend the arm all the way up. With the arm fully extended, we'll be able to lift that up. First time I ever did that, pull it with the crack. Now that I got my rock up here, I'll be able to maneuver wherever I need to. 